So today I'm going to give you a free Crew AI project that you're going to be able to use to try out some of the tools that Crew AI offers. This tool, or rather this project, is going to have the Serper Dev tool, which allows you to do Google searches with Crew AI. It's going to have the website search tool, which allows you to scrape the websites that you search. And you're going to use the YouTube channel search tool, which again, by its name, you're able to do YouTube searches with Crew AI. So for this project, I've already written it out for you and set it up. All you have to do is make a copy of this file on Google CodeLab. Again, the link is going to be in the description. And I'm going to show you right now exactly what you need to do to install it and run it so you can start playing with it and start testing out Crew AI with some more of these tools. Again, all you're going to do is you're going to go to File. You're going to click Save a Copy in Drive. This is going to save a copy of this project within your Google Drive. You don't have to install anything in your desktop. And then from here, you're just going to click all of the play buttons here. These are all the installations that are going to happen in Google Colab. Starting with this one, this is what downloads the code to your project file here. Right here, I already have it downloaded, so it's not going to do it for me right now. But this is the project where all the code is stored. Again, you see here, if you've seen Python files before, here we have main.py, agents.py, and also we have the task.py file. Now here I've added some directions so that you can add your API keys to your project for these tools, uh, especially the Serper Dev tool, as well as using OpenAI's la large language models, you are going to need API keys. If you haven't retrieved your API keys for these tools or you're not familiar with that, all you have to do is you're going to go to serper.dev API key or rather just serper.dev. From there, once you sign in, you'll be able to get a free API key for 2,500 credits. You don't have to put your credit card. And that's where, in this part of the website is where you can get your API key. Now, if you're using ChatGPT's, you know, large language models, you're just going to go to platform.openai. You're going to register an account there if you don't already have one. And then you're going to have to verify your account in order to create your API keys. Again, when you go to this site, you're going to have to put a payment a payment card that you can use for this website that's mainly so that you don't get that's mainly so that you don't get overcharged mm -hmm. when you start using it because you do have to prepay on here so just keep that in mind so once you have those set up you're gonna go back to your project here on your google collab notebook and all you're gonna do is you're gonna go inside this project file that has all of your python files installed you're gonna go to add new file so right click new file we're going to name this file just ENV, that just stands for environment. So once we're inside this ENV file, we're going to open it up here and we're going to type out our API keys. So for your OpenAI, that one's just called in all capital letters, OpenAI underscore API key equals. And then for the Serper Dev key, it's just going to be Serper API underscore key. And right here at the, you know, to the right of this equal sign is where you're going to put your actual key value. It's going to be a really long string of letters and numbers. It's basically a very complicated password, but you do need this in order for your file to run. So just keep that in mind. So once you enter your files here, once you enter your passwords here, you're going to click Control S or Command S or just uh, File Save. So that this saves to your, to your project here. And after you've added this here, as you can see, we saved it. You're going to right click this again. You're going to click, you're going to rename it .env. And that's what's going to give your Python project access to these keys so that it can run your Crew AI project. So from here on out, you're just going to go down the line and download each one of these dependencies or libraries. As you can see here, these run pretty fast online because I already installed it, but you just have to click them one by one. It might take two or three minutes for all of them, but just, again, it's important that you do them in order. And for each one that you do, make sure that you wait for the last one to finish before you move on to the next one. And as they finish downloading, you'll see a little status updates telling you what it's doing and just how long until it finishes. And all up until the end, you'll be able to get to your Python main.py. This last one is one that runs your Crew AI project. And on this project in particular, 
that I did, as I've talked in previous videos, the main purpose of it was to help me find a video editor. So I have a project manager agent, I have a recruiter agent, I have a video editor agent, and I have a business analyst. So all of these agents are working together to try and help me better define all the things that I'm gonna to need to do in terms of job postings, in terms of, in terms of editing requirements that I'm gonna need so that I can successfully look for a new video editor. So the point of this project again is that what I the tools I implemented on here are gonna be the the actual Google search using Serper Dev, the actual internet search with the web search tool from Crew AI, and it's also gonna do YouTube searches on here. Once you start looking, you're more than welcome to open up these files and change them if there's anything you want to change on there. And I know I know Python code or any kind of code might seem a little bit complicated, but in, for, in future videos, I'll be talking a little more about how you can edit this project yourself and the other things you can do. But just to give you a quick overview, the main things you want to edit on these projects are going to be in the agents files right here, as well as the task files right here. So when you look at this file, when you open it up, you're going to see some red letters. So the red letters that you see on here, that's just plain English language. There's there's nothing, nothing that's read on here is Python code, actually. It's all just going to be basically what I wrote out in order to tell, in order to tell Crew AI exactly what I want to happen. For this project, I really wanted some concise, clear reports regarding the task that I was giving them. So for the business analysis task, you can see here all the details for the report I wanted from the findings that they found. And I did pretty much the same for each of the other tasks, right? The video editor, the video editor task had his own report that he had to fill out for me. The Also the recruitment tasks, which work with the recruiter or talent manager, whatever you want to call them. They also had a basically a list of items that they needed to look into before they finished their task. So if you want to change this project, you could really edit any you could edit anything out here that's in red, and that's just to change the behavior of your tasks. Now, if you want to change the definition of your agents, or rather, you know, the individual artificial intelligence agent that you have working on these tasks, same thing, you have to go to the agents.py file, and all these letters in red, all they're doing is defining how this agent is supposed to behave. As you can see here, the business analyst just talks about the business solution and the use you know, their business expertise to better try and sort out the problem I have. Same thing with the video editor. This is just, you know, a video, a video editing expert. Same thing with the talent recruiter. But again, those are the key aspects of a crew AI project, the tasks and the agents and the agents that are used by each task. Now, I know that was a little bit of a quick overview, but again, I just want you to have a little bit of insight in terms of what you could edit on this project so that you could get your Crew AI project, which you already have running on here on your Google Colab notebook to test it out with different ways. Because again, I've already gone through the trouble of setting up these tools that you can, that you can set up on this project. And the only thing you need to do is set up your API key and everything on here is already set to use these tools with these agents for this project. Now for future videos, I would like your input in terms of what you would want to talk about. Would you want me to go a little more in depth in terms of how you can edit the code for this template project so that you can use it for your needs? Would you like me to explore some other tools that Crea offers? Or would you like some more information on how you can implement on how you can integrate Crea with other tools such as maybe Gmail, Zapier, or some other day-to-day -day tasks that you already do on your own, either for your business or just for your, you know, your personal day-to-day. -day. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.